Good morning, everybody. I'm making some French toast with some bacon this morning. Um, and here I just have some eggs and milk. I don't really measure this. I normally just do half a dozen eggs and then put a little bit of milk in there. If I was using just plain bread, I would add like a little bit of brown sugar or cinnamon or regular sugar, something to sweeten it up a little bit. But I'm using this Pepperidge Farm swirl bread and it's already sweet. So I'm not gonna put any sugar or anything in the eggs and milk this morning. I gotta flip my bacon real quick. I'm gonna be making this whole loaf. Um, even though we probably will have one or two pieces left over, Jacob doesn't like French toast. So when I make French toast, he usually eats waffles that are in the freezer, either waffles or pancakes. I think we have waffles in there right now. So he usually eats those just because he doesn't like French toast. I just rub a little bit of butter on this griddle over here. And I'm gonna turn it up to 300. I had it on 250 there, so I turned it up to 300. I love using this Pepperidge Farm swirl bread to make French toast. I just really, it's like a really thick bread and it just does really good. We got the kitchen cleaned up. Kids are started with schoolwork. Now I'm making my coffee. I actually started that coffee really early this morning when I first got up so that it could just be getting cold so it wouldn't melt my ice. I use, I'm using the, what is it called again? I keep forgetting what it's called. Oh, Green Mountain. Green Mountain Wild Mountain Blueberry Coffee again. Also, once I got the kids going with everything, I went and got Manly down for his nap. He was ready to go to sleep. I didn't froth my milk and cream as much this time because I don't want as much foam on top. Still pretty foamy. Mm -hmm. So good, y'all. So good. Here we go. What are you doing? It's almost lunch time and Manly loves drawing on the marker board. So we just brought his high chair over here to the table. Yeah. Every time Jacob asks him for a marker, he won't give him his. He takes Tyler's. Do it again, Jake. Can I have one, man? No. <laughs> Do it again. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can I have one, man? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Okay. Today is going to be pepperoni sandwiches. We have Colby Jack cheese and we have mozzarella, spinach. I'm gonna put some Southwest hot mustard on mine. Okay, Cece wants a pepperoni wrap instead of the pepperoni sandwich. I think I have some wraps. I uh, do. Do you want a strawberry? Well, I think I'll have a strawberry banana. Okay, 
it's a little while later now. We are all outside, we're except for Tyler. Where's he at? He's getting something Oh, he's drink. coming. He's getting something to drink. We're all taking a family walk to see Jacob's garden. We're going to try again. We try every year. We're going to try again this year but to in plant in a different spot. Yes, we're going to try to plant maybe over here where Jacob planted last year because he was the only one who reaped a harvest. I bet there's some four-leaf clovers right here. Anybody want to look for some? That's what we used to do when we were little. I found a few in my time. I Never? Found, Never. Oh, y'all are matching. Would you look at that? Wee. Yeah. Bull. You see the bull? That's Clyde. Keeper of the gate. Beverages. Peppers. That's lettuce. Lettuce. Pep more peppers. Tomatoes and cucumbers. What's the, what's the last two over there? Cantaloupe and watermelon. Woohoo! This is a good spot. Plenty of sunshine, heading my way. My oh my, what a wonderful day. <laughs> So I got the ham in the oven, then I got Manly down for his nap, and now I'm about to make the cornbread. Originally, I was gonna make rolls with this if I made it on Sunday, but if you missed that video, I'll link it down below. We ended up having a late lunch, so then supper was just to find what you want. But yeah, I was gonna do rolls and all of that, and I still, I actually thought about doing the rolls today, this afternoon, but since I'm doing pinto beans instead of the green beans, I decided I would do cornbread, because we like cornbread better with pinto beans. I paused over there for approximately 50 years because I was trying to decide if I wanted to do cornbread muffins or just like a pan of cornbread. I'm going with muffins because they'll get done a little faster. The ham should be ready in probably about 20 or 30 more minutes. So once I get the cornbread in the oven, I just have to make the mashed potatoes. And we're just gonna have some, I think I'm out of onions. We really like onions with our pinto beans and cornbread, but I think I'm out of onions. I'll probably be doing a grocery pickup, not a grocery pickup, I'm sorry, I'm going to Aldi this week. I'll probably go tomorrow afternoon or the next day. I'm still trying to decide which day would be best. So yeah, I think I'm out of onions, but I do have some hot pepper that I'll eat with my cornbread and beans. Oh yeah, and I wanna make the deviled eggs. I almost forgot about that. I was gonna skip the deviled eggs, but the kids were so excited about them, so I was like, okay, I'll still make the deviled eggs. I'm using my ice cream scoop for the cornbread. I told y'all about this the other day. It's just the perfect amount to go right in the little muffin tin. Oh, that ham is smelling good. It smells like a holiday. Holiday! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the eggs started. Then I'll wash these dishes. Then I will start the potatoes. It is really quiet in here when everybody's outside and Manly is sleeping. So we've got the eggs going. Are one of y'all busted? I hate when that happens. Like you can't even see that there's this tiny little bitty crack in that egg, little bitty bitty. But then when you're making like boiling eggs, it'll bust and then it like poofs out the eggshell looking all weird. I hate when that happens. I also need to switch out some laundry. That's the only thing about when it gets really pretty weather outside, spring, summer and all. I get in my winter routine where I have certain times that I'm doing everything. Then when it's pretty outside, I wanna go outside. So we go outside for a little while and then I come in and I'm like, oh, I have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> so we have to readjust, readjust the routine, do things earlier.
All right, y'all, we finished eating. I'm packing up the leftovers real quick. We have a little bit of mashed potatoes left. So we have mashed potatoes and lots of ham. I think it'll all fit in here. There we go. We have a few beans left over. I think I can fit all the beans in here. There's not too many left. I didn't do um, two pounds this time. I just did about a pound and a half. Okay, there we go. Three cornbread muffins. I'm just gonna wrap these up. 